Okay, here's the differential equation we're trying to solve for a particular solution given that f of 0 equals 5 halves. So we want to know what does y equal given that when x is 0, y is 5 halves. And this differential equation is separable, which in a second we'll see what that looks like. But here's kind of proof of what the answer is. This is our original y, or f. And over here on Desmos, I've graphed the derivative of that function and ended up with the problem that we started with. Although it might not be clear that this is y minus 1. But here's y. And if I subtract 1 from that, this is y minus 1 right here. Times, there's our original problem. The question is, how did I get to this answer? So let's go to board 3. Here is the original differential equation separated, although I've added some additional symbols. Uh, by separating, that means we'll put everything with y on the left side and everything with x on the right side. So dy over y minus 1 equals cosine of x squared plus 2x plus pi times x plus 1 dx. And now we're going to take the antiderivative of each side to try to find out what y is. So the antiderivative of dy over y minus 1 is ln of y mi minus 1. Uh, we could put a constant of integration here, but usually we do that on the right side. And to find the antiderivative of this expression, we have to use u substitution. If I let u equal x squared plus 2x plus pi, the parameter of the cosine function, du equals 2x plus 2 dx, and that looks like, oh, if I do use u substitution, I can use this as du, but I need to introduce a factor of 2 to get 2x plus 2. And so I put a 1 half out front. And so after doing the u substitution, we get 1 half the antiderivative, the cosine of u, that's u, and du is all of this right here. And the antiderivative of cosine is sine. But now I'll replace u with x squared plus 2x plus pi. And there's our constant of integration. And now we want to find out what ln, uh, what c is. And if we put 0 in for x, we get the sine of pi, which is 0. 1 half times 0 is 0. So on the right side, we just get a c. And if we put 5 halves in for y, we get ln of 3 halves. So I actually don't need the absolute value symbol. So there is uh, ex exponentiating this. In other words, e raised to this power produces y the anti-logarithm y minus 1. And if I add 1 to both sides, that's what I get for y. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.